What's up everyone, Danny and Lightning back with another video. We are going to be checking out something new and interesting and fun, or I should say old and interesting and fun. Guys, we got some old school robots to play today. We are trying out the Pursuer with the new Cudgel shotgun weapons, and I am doing a giveaway for these, so make sure you find that video and get entered into that. All right, so we got three Cudgels on this guy. We've got a repair amplifier, a last stand, and a nuclear amplifier. You probably want to run two of the repair amplifiers, but I only had one available, so we're only running one today on there. Now we do have the legendary pilot for this guy, which is really good. It makes the ability last 20% longer. We got Roadhog, we got Armor Expert, we got Adamant Guardian, we got Death Survivor, Dodger Mechanic, and Module Expert. All really, really good skills to put on this little guy. In our drone setup, we got Suppressor, On Repair Unit Defense, On Repair Unit Defense, On Mild Damage Absorber, and we're running the Nebula Drone, which works out really, really good on pretty much any robot. Actually, there were just a couple new drones added to the workshop or the store that you can buy now, guys. The Barrel and the Beak just got added into there. Beak is a great damage drone. Barrel's kind of a cool drone for some robots as well. I'm still telling you, though, out of all these, Nebula is pretty much the king so far. But anyways, let's get into some gameplay. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell and set those notifications to all so you don't miss any good uploads or giveaways or anything like that. But let's get to the gameplay. Let's go do it to it and try this little guy out. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and drop in on Shenzhen Knight. This is a beautiful map, guys. This is a beautiful map. And did I just say nap? This is a beautiful map. Now I'm going to tell you what. I've never actually played this robot before. This is the first time I've ever tried it. This is my very first game ever with this little guy. So we're going to try and get Center Beacon. Someone requested this video. I've been, I've been wanting to make a video about this little dude for a long time. He's been hanging out in my hangar. I've been slowly leveling some of these older robots up a little bit here and a little bit there. He's not maxed out or anything, but man, he's, uh, he's getting close to it. All right, so we took that guy out. We need to get this Center Beacon. We need to get this center beacon. So my stealth is almost over, which isn't really great. There's a bunch of red dudes around, and I'm about to run out of stealth. So we're going to have to retreat a little bit. Let's let our uh, tanker, my tanky guy in the center there, we're going to let him, like, hang out. Well, this, oh, my God, the ball's chasing me, guys. Get away, you nasty ball. Stop chasing me, sir. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, my God, it's going to get me. <laughs> Oh, it's the bulldozer coming through, guys. The bulldozer is trying to get me. Nice. We got him. We got him. Yes. That was awesome. All right. So far, so good. This little thing's a lot of fun, man. I'm having a good time with it. Um, Let's go back over towards center and see if we can get that back. We got about, yeah, we got about 75% health left. These shotguns are doing really good on here. I think they're, uh, I think they're doing great, honestly. So there's a big nasty Fenrir there. We got our stealth. This thing's got stealth for a long time with that pilot on it. That pilot's really doing a great job. So let's go on and try and take this guy out. He is going to be a little bit, bit of a pain. Our stealth just ended. So now they can hit us. And uh, let's see, let's see. You got to play this little dude really carefully, guys. You got to be really careful when playing this guy. But if you're careful with him, I think he will do you pretty well overall. Oh, my God. I got blowed up, man. All right, let's try that again. Let's try that again. All right, so we're going to go ahead and drop in over here. And on this map, for some crazy reason, I pretty much always go straight for the enemy's home beacon no matter what I do. It's just, uh, that's just what you do on this map, right? Almost all of the enemies usually run over to the center beacon. And there's usually like one or two left to defend their home. So I'm going to try and take it, guys. I am going to try and take it. We got to we gotta watch out for a second, though. That thing's hitting really hard, so I got to be kind of careful here. The majority of them look like they're starting to go over to the side, but uh, I don't know. Let's go after this guy here. Let's go after this guy here. I think a couple of them just jumped off the ledge, which is good for me. If they get out of there, I've got a much better chance of maybe taking this away. And he's kind of backed off. I think I'm going to be able to get it. Whoa, that guy's flying through the air. <laughs> Do you guys see that over there on the right? That guy was like 10, 10 million feet in the air, like flipping around and stuff. I love when these robots die and like something crazy happens. So it's always a good time to watch that. 
All right, so we got to fight this guy. It looks like they're, I'm getting beat up pretty good over here. Um, This little guy doesn't have a lot of hit points, but I'm sure having a lot of fun with him. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever played this robot. This is probably like, what, my, my second game with him, I think? Second game, third game, something like that. I can't remember, but he's fun. He's fun. I mean, he's doing pretty good. I didn't expect him to do so well. I mean, he's he's fun. I like it. I like it. I'm having a good time, guys. If you got a little pursuer in your hangar, you should definitely try it out. It works great with these shotguns. Sonic weapons would do really good on here as well. I think this acid sprayers, you know, the toxic weapons would do on here, do great on here. There's a lot of weapons that would be awesome on this little guy, but I'm really enjoying these shotguns. Uh, flamethrowers could be pretty good too, but they're a little harder to use, I think. But I still, I still think they would do pretty well. And let's go over here and get this guy. It looks like they've got their beacon and we want to take it. Yes, smushed him, smushed him. Nice. Man down, man down. Luckily, it's not on our team. All right, let's go after this guy. I think we're about to bite the dust over here. One of our arms is gone. Oh, man. Can, whoa, why is that guy? What's happening? That <laughs> I'm surprised he wasn't shooting at me. If he was, I probably would have been dead a few minutes ago. So let's hit that. Oh, crap sandwiches. They got me. They got me. That was fun, though. That was fun, guys. That was a lot of fun. All right, so there you have it. That was actually a lot of fun. I just had a really good time and. That little pursuer is cool, guys. That little pursuer is cool. If you've got one laying around, you might want to try it again. I liked it. I liked it. The new shotguns are great. Just an all-around good time today, guys. Very fun stuff. So thank you all so much for watching. You guys are all amazing. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Click that little bell and set those notifications to all. Down in the video's description, you can find a link to my Discord server. Um, there's a join button or a thank you button. If you'd really like to help su support the channel, you can use those. That would be amazing. We would appreciate that a lot. And yeah, that wraps this one up. Have an awesome day. Again, you guys are awesome. See you later. Thanks for watching. Lightning out.